Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the battle 2023. We've got the female open division on the floor now, moving into event two. That's the liftoff. If you haven't tuned in yet and don't know how this workout operates, there's 12 stations on the floor. In fact, 13 stations on the floor. There's a one minute rest station between six and seven. The first six stations are snatches. And a 7 through 12 will be squat cleans. So our open division on the floor now. And a great start there on the snatch. So how this is going to work on stations 1, 2, 7 and 8. Five reps count for one point. Then on three, four, nine, and ten, three reps count for one point. And then five, six, eleven, and twelve, one rep, one point. Now the goal here for the athletes is to get through as many reps as possible. As we see the ATG team coming onto the floor, and they're going to look to kick us off here. Break at the knees, break at the hips. That's good work here from the ATG lady. Cycling through her reps here really effectively. She's got a point on the board now. And she's going to sub out there. Total of seven reps there for that team. They're going to move on as we get to the uh, next team coming onto the floor. Had a jam-packed weekend of action. The men's getting us underway yesterday evening. They finished off this afternoon. Five events in the space of... Uh, about 12 hours, that's <laughs> really demanding that. Great competition, great for the, the athletes to get through such an intensive comp. The ladies now are kicking us off. They're in their second event. This is the final workout. All teams will go through this liftoff, moving through the stations. As we see that team finish off their second round of snatches. Just a reminder on the snatch, it's really important that the, uh, the arms are, are straight at all times, that they're fully extended. Keep the bar as close to the body as possible. Really use the legs to power the bar up. As we see the ATG lady demonstrate exactly how it's done. Good cycle here. Three reps done, no problem. A little bit of confusion there about which lady's going to take over from her. Oh, that's not going to count. Didn't get that up. Bar too far, out, too far out in front of her. Not able to get that up above her head. Much better there from the ATG athlete. Keeping the bar nice and close to the body, getting under it and getting that bar all the way up. And they're going to complete that rep. Oh, good lifting here. Break at the knees, break at the hips. She gets through two reps nice and quick. Three reps count for a point here at station three. So they've got a point on the board here, do these girls.
halfway through this segment. About 15 seconds left here for them to get through a couple of snatches. Is she going to start? Yes, she starts her rep, so that's going to count as the segment comes to an end. They're going to get their 20-second rest now as they move on to station number four. Good lifting. And again. Nice flat back as she goes down to pick up the bar. Arms nice and close to the body, getting right under it and pushing that weight up above her head. Full extension on the arms. That's good technique there. She gets through four reps. Sixty-five kgs on the bar here. Station number five. Each rep counts for a point. We see uh, this particular athlete on screen from Samson's Fitness. Doing uh, the lion's share of the lifting for her team here, as we've seen through the snatches. Seems to be an area of strength of hers. And that's her third rep, that's good going. Definitely time for one more. And she is gonna get it up. Four reps on 65, they've got one more station of snatches left. Is the team gonna be able to help her out here? We're gonna head over towards our squat cleans. And uh, this is a station number 10. Two failures, unfortunately. Take your time here. Deep breaths, nice flat back. Get that up and push it up and she does that. She gets through a rip there. Good work. Oh, and lucky. Just not able to get up from under that. Seventy-five kilos on the bar here at station number ten. One of our uh, really strong ladies teams here in picture. Cycling through 75 kilos here, like it ain't no thang. There's three reps. Hands over to the next athlete. Rep four. Rep five, that's good work. Laura stepping up onto the plate now. And unfortunately not able to complete that rep. She does have time. She gets the ball moving. So that rep is going to count there. 75 kilos at station 11. A reminder that, that each rep there counts for one point. Have they got anything in the tank here for station number 12? 80 kilos, the heaviest of all the stations here on the squat clean, and she's got it up, first rep, touch and go, push, and it's up, easy, two reps done, and she's going to stand it up, there's rep number three, 
Cycle out. After a failure at 75, can she lift 80 kilos here? No, she can't, unfortunately. And that's the time out there. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, and we hope you are, give us a like, hit that subscribe button. We've got a, a day full of events tomorrow, so hit the bell so you can get those notifications on for when our videos go up. So you don't miss any of the action. Tomorrow we'll be covering events three and five from the battle here at Monte Casino. Shout outs to all our event sponsors, particularly Puma, Forever Foster, MPL Nutrition, keeping the athletes uh, with all their nutrition needs met this weekend so they can perform to the best of their abilities. Having a look here at the snatch, 65 kilos on the bar there. On station number eight, this is a squat clean station. 60 kilos on the squat clean. Touch and go, good cycling here. Break at the knees, break at the hips there. Gets through a good number of reps. That's gonna help her team score well. Keeping the bar nice and close to the body. Really using the legs to uh, drive through and get up on that. Quick turnover of those elbows, getting them right under that bar. That's great technique we're seeing there from the girls in picture. Team in picture will be one of the favorites for the weekend as they move on to the 65 kilo squat team. And watching them in action here, you can understand why we, uh, we're picking them to do so well. Getting through two there, she's going to hand over. Touch and go. Time for one more rep. She gets through it. That's going to count. Nice uh, com uh, segment of seven reps there on station nine. Moving on to station number 10. Starting to ramp up the weight here. 70 kilos on the bar. You can see the uh, iconic Monte Casino in the background of this picture. Really is one of the best uh, venues in CrossFit in South Africa. It's helped elevate the status of the battle in the South African CrossFit community. It has become one of the go-to events on our calendar. The number of people that have come through so far this weekend really reiterates that point. As we see the athlete on station 11 just sneaking in one last rep on 75 kilos. They're going to move on to the 80 kilo bar at the end of the segment. So look for this team to just slow down a little bit here. Take their time with their reps. These reps will all count for one point. So you don't need to rush through the reps. That's good work. She's going to hand right over. It's just the two girls here lifting in uh, this team. It might be a, a little bit too he heavy for their teammate. Team competition adds a, a really nice dynamic to these events. Each athlete will have their own strength and there's uh, the full range of movements on uh, 
are being tested at the battle this year. Functional fitness, the first event. Liftoff event number two, gymnastics event number three. Then we'll be moving on to a cardio workout in event four. And then something special lined up uh, in the final event at event five. Judges just making sure that the weights are nice and tight on the bar there as we move on to 80 kilos. You see great technique there, making sure the back is nice and flat. Driving from the legs. Break at the hips, break at the knees, touch and go. She's up for number three at 80 kilos. This is really impressive work. And she's up for four. Is she going to go back for number five? Takes a deep breath. She is indeed. And she gets it up. Good work. There's a couple of seconds left on the clock. Can she get one more rep in? She's moved the bar. And she's going to stand it up. That's six reps. Six points in the bag there. Great work there from this team. And they're happy with those efforts. I'm going to head back to the... Snatch the station number five, 65 kilos. Arms just a little bit far in front of her, but she manages to get that up. She's happy with that effort. Unfortunately, that's a no rep. We're going to head back over to the 80 kilo squat clean at station 12. Oh, that's really heavy. Let's see. Maybe one of her teammates can get that up. No, she's not. And that's all in uh, that segment. They're done for the evening. They'll be back in the morning. Back onto the 65 snatch. Good technique getting the bar right under her there. Eighty kilos on the bar here for the squat clean. Leg shaking, but she gets it up. Crowd goes wild. They're happy with that. That's a great effort. All sportsman's low five there from her teammate. Really happy. There's time for one more effort here. Bar's moving. Ah, but that's just too much there for, for that athlete. Really good work here from the ladies in the open division. Our top division. There really are some incredible athletes on display here at Monte Cassino at the Battle 2023. This is incredible work. Touch and go on 80 kilos. I think this is the best lifting we've seen all evening from the girls. Three reps like a one no thang. She's going back. Lots of time on the clock. Oh, but just uh, a little bit too much. She's got to leave the uh, mat before anyone else can go to the bar. But she's going to go back and she gets it up. Four reps there for that team. Ladies and gents, we're going to... Uh, the action tonight has been brought to you by It's Happening Africa. It's been an absolute privilege to bring you this uh, CrossFit event, the Battle 2023 at Monte Cassino. Proudly sponsored by Puma for Ever Foster. Be sure to tune in with us tomorrow morning. The action kicks off at 8 o'clock. We'll have a build-up show up. And then we'll get each of the heats going two from each division. So you can catch all the action on the It's Happening Africa YouTube channel tomorrow morning. Signing off for It's Happening Africa, I'm Steve Tadhope.